acres, with patches of rape that have obviously been eaten back by pigeons over a number of weeks. The birds have been seen dropping in steadily and seem to be in smaller groups and not the dreaded large flocks. The day starts bright and with a good wind, which is always a big help. A decent breeze will keep the birds moving and disperse and deflect the noise of shooting. You can see how the feeding birds are moving randomly about and how their neck bars are an obvious sign as they peck away at the crop. This movement is a sure sign that they are totally preoccupied with getting a good feed and there's no outward signs of wariness. As Dave arrives to shoot the field, the birds lift off in a relaxed and natural way. David had been watching birds feeding on a field of rape in the early morning and moving on after a couple of hours. The previous day, however, had been wet and the birds had not really fed well. David decided to make an early start and be ready for when the birds left their roost. He's chosen to build his hide on the point of the spinney with the decoy pattern in the center and a rotary on both sides. This will give great movement to the pattern. This is an illustration of the alternative setups using first a floater, then a single rotary, and finally two rotaries. Further variable, you can change the speed of the rotaries to give different degrees of movement. This works particularly well on large areas of rape. Wind from behind him and strengthening, the birds are really starting to come in well now. The cloud clears and with the sun directly in his face, David's having a bit of difficulty picking up the birds as they come in.
We'll get it in a minute. I think we moved about that wood down there. That's how to take a double. That was hard work. After about three hours, the flight line dries up, but David's had a good morning sport. One of the best ways to shoot winter rape is to get out early and shoot for short periods as the birds start to feed. David Westwood is a keen pigeon shooter who works hard to promote the very best standards of competence and conduct in the sport. We do hope you've enjoyed this programme and picked up a few tips for your own shooting.